Hey guys, it's Ice Fatine here with another video this time. We're doing a special Christmas Power Rangers Lion Collection figure review. So, so I, I said that I was gonna be doing a few more Lion Collection figure reviews. Um, and if you saw my um my Dark Kiva as a figure, should go say hello review. You know, you got. I did actually show you that that I did get this yesterday for Christmas. This is basically my Christmas present, so I wanted to review this first, since this is a Christmas present. So, and today's Christmas again. So, if you guys are wondering why it is a little late for for when I I uh, I uploaded this, I was actually at my um my row. I was actually spending like Christmas. I was just a little bit with some relatives, some um, just having some Christmas di dinner up there, some taco burgers, just stuff like that. Just. Just, uh, I'm just going up there, and we're just having some peanut butter fudge and a bunch of other things, and stuff like that. Just food, having to a good time there, and yeah, it was fun. So yeah, now we're finally here with a review on the Power Rangers Lion Collection, and um, in space blue and and I I go silver versus back. So as far as the look, it's pretty much the same as the kind of like the other. The other kind of um, versus packs. Um, we have the blue lightning bolt, which I don't know why it isn't one of them is silver. Um, we got uh, Power Rangers Line Collection right there in space blue, in space cycle silver, but you kind of get the point. Tom Welling art for in space blue and in space logo right there, and same thing for cycle silver in space logo. And then top, we have the Lion bolt going in the middle with the blue, with just uh, actually kind of like a dark blue on one side and a light blue, a, kind of like a lighter blue, and then not much on the bottom, just stuff like that. And in the back, we have two figures themselves looking very nice and and dandy. And that's enough of the box. Now let's go on with the figures themselves. So here's both Psycho Blue and both that Psycho Silver and in Space Blue, blue and just together, and they both look just so good. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna go over like cycle blue first, just to just look over. So we're just gonna put him on the side so we can be ready. You can kind of see him, but not really a little bit. But yeah, here's cycle blue uh, in space blue. I'm getting psycho rangers on the brain because it does have a psycho ranger in this and a a psycho ranger in this two pack. So I'm having psycho rangers on the brain. So here's in space blue looking pretty good, TJ. In the house again. I always liked TJ, and have, well, I'll be honest, it's kind of one of the reasons why because he has the same name as me. But I don't know, just kind of um, wanted to go over over this a little bit. And yeah, this is this is my first um, male male in space ranger. I don't have in space black or in space red. I still need to get those. I was um, I was hoping I get it for Christmas, but sadly, my mom only get, could give me one thing for right now because. Low on cash and everything else that's going on. So yeah, here's this. The as far as the buying, we do have like just the the square arrows with different colors: blue, yellow, well, black, black, yellow, red, pink, and blue. I'm um, assuming for the main colors, we have just some white stripes over here. Um, this is and there's the belt buckle. And again, it was a little off center for a bit, so I just moved it for a little bit. And also, I'm I, I kind of. I completely forgot about the accessory, so that's gonna kind of, kind of a spoiler for later. But yeah, we have the holster, and the rest is just white gloves. We have some white lines in the, in the yellow, and the white boots. And then again, we do have like the helmet right here, looking really, really cool. Again, I I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Maybe it might be a little off, and I can't say the white. There's a little miss, kind of like misaligned with the white down, the white line down here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but a little bit. But yeah, as far as the looks of TJ over here, it's really good. Again, weird than saying that out loud because again, um, my name's TJ, like I said. But that's enough of the end space. Let's go over Psycho Silver and again. Even though this guy isn't really an actual Psycho Ranger, again, it's just a, it's just it's just Zane and a costume trick. Like the Psycho Rangers, but in some way you can just kind of think. Again, even though there wasn't an actual Psycho Silver, we kind of you can kind of think in just a wild scenario there was an actual Psycho Silver Ranger. Maybe like um Psycho Green created him, 
him to wreak havoc. Havoc. I think even the fan fiction I read with, well, kind of like adaptation for Go Kaiser and Psycho Rangers and Coin Psycho Silver. But going over all this, it's pretty much the same thing as it's just the same output with Psy the other Psycho Rangers. Um, red, blue, which I have, and then also green, black, yellow, and pink, which I don't have yet because I have the team pack and I need to track down Psycho Green. That is sold down on Hazard Pulse, but yeah. Overall, everything looks pretty good. Again, there's no misalignment with the eyes. There is no nothing wrong with that. There's some, and there's I don't even think there's any. There actually is not even that any QC issues. I, I've actually looked over this so many times, and there's no QC issues. We all the silver looks pretty good, and it has it's just metallic sheen. It has metallic sheen. Again, all you have the gold right there, just the, the kind of um. um I, I can't even say what it is, just like the little spike things, ball pins or something. I, mean, I, I don't know what to call it, but yeah. We have that all over, we have the, also go, some gold around the neck. Neck and the same thing for the shoulder pad right here, and then also we just have some silver for the cuff right there, and then also the boot. And for the leg, I got the shin armor right there, and just also the Psycho Ranger and the NG Ranger sim right there. So there's nothing really too much to go over this, guys. Again, if you see my other two overviews on the Psycho Rangers, at least the two ones I have right now, you kind of get the point. But, yeah. That's pretty much it for the kind of overall look. Now let's go over articulation. So, uh, articulation-wise, uh, now, I'm just going to go over in Space Blue because um this Psycho Ranger is just the same as red, the red and blue Psycho Rangers I re reviewed. So, um, like I said, I'm, you'll see a card popping up for Psycho Blue right right now, just because so you can just see the articulation. Again, it's the same thing. There's nothing too new here as far as articulation goes. So we'll set st over for on the side, and we'll go over the articulation for the Blue Ranger, which again is pretty much almost the same anyway, as the, the other ones. But yeah, I can move with that for again. It kind of fixed the neck, no neck issue. Maybe this one is before that. Then fixing the no neck issue, but I'm not really sure. Again, you guys comment down below. If this is after they fixed the no neck issue, but yeah. And it does move up that far, move down this far, and then go side to side. And then you can go pull the arms to a T pose right there. I will say this side is a little on the kind of stiff side there. Diaphragm joints, also the arms do go 360 here, right there. I don't think there's any. I'm afraid there, there might be some like cute like scratches on on the you know the white here, but yeah, they can go 360 bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, elbows, arms, whatever you want to call it, and then also hinge up and down for the hand and 360 for there, and diaphragm joint, joint and ab crunch. Well, you, you can crunch this bar this far and th back this far for you. For your flips and stuff like that. And, um, I want to go that far for the splits. When it's, um, kick that far for your kicks. And you can't go too far because it's cut of the butt. And also biceps swivel, go join your knees for your V triggers. And here's, um, if you want to go K Omega, boot swivel, oh, and a toe, and also the, the toes. Hit. The feet, the um, feet, inch up and down, and then you also have beautiful ankle pivots, so you can you you can have TJ do everything that TJ does. So that's pretty much it for the articulation part of the review. Now let's get on with the accessories. So going over in space blues accessories real quick. Um, I'm just getting the ones out of the way where you kind of expect it. We do have the a few interchangeable hands, like the weapon holding hands, and then we get a. We just get a fist and a cry chop hand, which just are just usual stuff we begin be getting with most of the things. But I I feel like we all we got like a bunch of these now in the light collection. Lost Galaxy, in space, um, and a few other and, then, and just my morph in general. It's just it makes sense because like a bunch of them just use just hand to hand combat. But yeah, we got that, and we do have the TJ head sculpt, and again. And not me, obviously. 
not to get confused with me, but yeah, there's TJ Heskel, looks like the actor, or it looks like TJ, but I, got, I think it also looks like an actor, but I don't know, something's throwing it off a bit, but I will say that's pretty much it. And just to uh, throw this on here, since we're just going to do this real quick. Um, I, I don't know, something's off with this, but, but there it is on the head, sculpt, the head sculpt on the body, like I said, and just to pop this on real quick, which is not even that hard. Alright, but now to get on to the last parts, and that is the weapons, and then just the last thing. And, but here's the um, Astro Blaster, which can go nicely in his hand, right there. I'm just going to put it in there just for the heck of it. And it does go in his holster pretty well. You'll see at the end of the video. And then here's the Astro Axe, and it looks so good. It really does look so good. So, can't go in his hand like that. And yeah, it looks very good. You have the blues, you have the silvers, all the grays. And he's just using grays, maybe more, but yeah. We got that, and then finally, we have the effect part, and it's just this stupid spark effect. I really do hate, hate it, and it does work better on the Asherax than, per se, um, in SPD's weapon, SPD Blue's weapon. I don't know why they had decided to put that. And then, here is just on the Asherax, but, again, I don't care about it. This is going to go take a hike, and... That's pretty much it. Now let's go over Psycho Silver's accessories. And now going over Psycho Silver's accessories means we basically got the... Just to get the ones that we kind of expected out of the way, we we do have interchangeable hands. We have two weapon holding hands. And then we have a fist, which has the kind of, um... Kind of, um... I, I don't even know what to call these. Um, pin ends or, like... Um, prongs or or spikes, I don't know what to call it, but we have a fist, and then we have a the, elect, the same ele, kind of like electric hand, green electric effect hand, and we have the other Psycho Rangers, but this is actually a little bit different than, because um, here's the one with the the that the other Psycho Rangers have, at least as far as the ones I have. And it kind of actually looks like the one kind of looks like a Force Lightning that usually, uh, like, uh like Snoke and, and um, Palpatine do. This one kind of like almost looks similar to like the flat hand that um, the Omega Ranger has and also just similar to like Count Dooku does. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We also got a Zane head sculpt, which looks pretty good. Again, I will say they're a little pain around on there, a little shame, a little shame is kind of throwing it off a bit, but yeah. This is a serious head sculpt and I will show that layer, layer um, at, the, at the end of the video. And we also have his weapon, the Psycho Silverizer, which I gotta guess that's what it's called because it's based off of the Super Silverizer. And just putting it in his hand real quick, and yeah, you can just just have it so he can destroy the Rangers or destroy the Psycho Rangers because he is an actual Psycho Ranger. But that's pretty much it for the accessories for the Psycho Ranger, for the Silver Psycho Ranger. And now let's move on to well, the comparison. Here's the comparison with our in space um, Ranger comparison with the only. In space ranger have for right now i'm hoping to get black and red soon oh and here he is with just an ashley um in space yellow which i been trying to fix that whole ball wagon this but it's still not fixed so yeah i'm gonna retry it again hopefully it'll fix hopefully that the same kind of like air dryer and and cold water technique will still work but i think i, I was just doing it wrong last night so I'll hopefully fix that, but yeah, there's just a comparison with with um, our in space rangers. Ours, ours right there. So, and then here's that psycho silver with the other two psycho rangers that I have at least for right now. I'm still gonna try to track down that psych that psych the psycho ranger team pack, like I said. But you'll see a card pop enough for the the lost the lost galaxy red and psycho red two pack. So, yeah, you'll see that popping up eventually, so I just kind of figured I I mentioned that, but yeah, these these well, all three of these looked very good together, even though, again, Psycho Sword is an actual Psycho, Psycho Ranger, again, it's just Zane in disguise to destroy all of them, and like I said. And, and then finally, 
we got our little team up action going on with in comparison with Lost Galaxy Blue and Psycho Blue with in Space Blue. And yeah, we got a whole lot of blue right here. So yeah. And these all look good. All, all look good to their garage in case you want to make just a a um just a kind of lost galaxy uh, a a galaxy rangers and then space rangers versus psycho ranger display going on yeah that's pretty much it for the, the comparisons now let's move on to the final verdict so there is our review on on the in space blue and psycho Oh, silver versus pack or two pack, whatever you want to call it, what you get at the point. And I really love this two pack. It's so dang good. Alright, we have another in space blue ranger and probably one of my favorite rangers. And then we have a one of the la last psycho rangers you need to complete. We need the psycho rangers, even though he's technically wasn't a psycho ranger, but again, I'll get into that in a little bit. But you have all the accessories that TJ ha has. You have all. The, the, I have in space blue being in space blue. We have the astro axe and and the these and the um astro blaster, and then even have his alternate portraits and and stuff like that. Which again, I I just loved teaching when I was a kid, and and, and not just because he has the same name as me. Um, you kind of get the point, but again, it was just more than that. I just thought it was just neat that he had the same name as me. But again, but again, TJ is kind of like. A, that kind of a kind of I have like almost a, a rare a, kind of like um and just a relatively um known name but it's for or just well in multiple people has the name TJ but again but then you have Psycho Silver has all the accessories that the rest of the Rangers have and then you have also his weapon and then you also have the ultimate head sculpt which I will say doesn't actually pop in so well you can't you can keep it in there but if you turn it around it starts to get loose and out and just pops off but yeah, that's kind of like why my own issue. But even if this wasn't a Psycho Ranger, you kind of can use that for one what if scenario. That what if scenario, so or you can just there's as if there was an actual Psycho Ranger, so an actual Psycho Silver. But that is pretty much it for my review. I really do recommend this for N Space fan, for diehards N Space fans and been collecting the line collection. I will say I was just excited for this more than the Aisha and Scorpina 2 pack, and that's pretty much it. Remember to like this video, comment down below what you guys think of this two, of this versus pack. Do, do you have to, Do you agree that um you were excited that um this was more exciting than the Scorpina and Aisha 2 pack because th there was just a duplicate yellow oh yellow ranger and again and remember to subscribe, tap the bell. More videos coming soon. We got line collection, Dino Thunder Blue. And then we have SS Figure Arts Kira Emperor form, form to finish off our Christmas and stay reviews. And then we got, remember to ooh, share to expand the subscriber count on the channel, expand the channel more. And this side of team, the Golden Rider, we are kicking out of here. And also, Merry Christmas to you all.